Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we are doing a 15 minute full body workout. We are gonna be targeting arms, abs, legs, glutes. This workout is suitable for beginners. So each of the moves are gonna be a little bit modified. I'm gonna talk you through them, but don't feel like it's gonna be easy, okay? Just because this is a beginner's workout does not mean that you're not gonna be sweating and like wanting to quit halfway through, but in like a good way wanting to quit, you know? <laughs> you do not need any equipment for this workout. All you need is a bit of space. I will talk you through the timings. I will explain each move so that you're doing it with the correct form so that you get all the best results. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know what you think, how you found it, and send it to a friend to try. Don't forget to subscribe because I upload a new workout every Wednesday with Gab Wednesdays. Join me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and check out my blog. I have loads of recipes and just general bits and bobs about my life and just like just general life. And if that sounds good then I guess we can just crack on. Yeah? Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's start this warm-up. Um, well, this workout with a warm-up. <laughs> We're gonna begin by jogging on the spot. Uh, nice and slow, get the limbs a little loose, get the heart rate, get the heart pumping. Oh, do you know what, I'm just gonna let you guys know that this is the fourth take of this voiceover that I have done. I am recording this on the back end of a, uh, a few uh, 13 hour on call shifts. I've been very busy and, um, but do you know what? I can do this and you can do this workout. We can do this together, okay? We are capable of what we put our minds to. So yeah, that's a bit of motivation for you. You've got this. Well done for clicking on this video and choosing to do this workout. I believe in you and you're gonna achieve awesome things. And I hope that you've been jogging while I did that little speech because um, we're gonna stop now <laughs> and we will go into some big arm swings. So bringing the arms in front, up, back, over the head doing some huge circles and then flipping it round and bringing the arms the other way, just stretching nice and tall, moving those shoulder joints. Then I want you to hold on to like a wall or just something beside you, a chair, and we'll do some dynamic leg swings. So swinging the leg in front and behind, holding the core nice and tight. I don't want you to be arching your back um, and switch onto the other leg. So just swinging the leg, front and back, loosening up, dynamic stretches through the hamstrings and the quads, keeping the core nice and tight, we're not putting stress on the lower back, well done. Um, then we're just going to stretch out the hamstrings a little bit more, just lean over the front uh, legs, <laughs> the only legs you have, <laughs> lean over and just straighten and bend the legs. So you might be able to touch the ground depending on your level of flexibility. We're just easing through that stretch in the hamstrings and standing up. We are ready to start the workout. We're going to be starting with elbow to knees. Ready and go. Um, standing with your hands behind your head, you want to bring your knee to your elbow, bring your elbow to your knee. Try to bring your knee up to your elbow more than you bring your elbow down to your knee if that makes sense. Um, we're getting a really good twist uh, through the transverse abdominals, keeping nice and tall, getting that knee lifted high, a good range of movement. Try and like twist as much as you can to really, as though you're trying to wring the air out of the lungs. I mean, that's not really like completely correct, but that's what you want to think of and rest for a few seconds. Well done. The next exercise that we'll be going into after our rest are these walkout push-ups. Um, take it nice and slow. I will explain the modification as we do it. Ready and go. So you wanna walk out from your feet to a push-up position. Um, you can do the modified push-up. So pivoting on your knees rather than on your feet. Lower the weight of the body down and back up. Now, depending on your flexibility, you wanna choose how much you bend your knees. If you're not very flexible, bend your knees a bit more as you walk the body out and transfer the weight from the legs to the arms, to the shoulders. 
and then do the push-up. If you're more flexible, then try and keep the legs a little bit more straight so you get a full-on stretch in the hamstrings and rest. Doing really well, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, we got this, we're in this together. We're gonna get through this and we're gonna get our gains. And then the next exercise we'll be doing our squats. Never underestimate a good squat, honestly guys, such a great movement. Ready and go. You would be amazed at the number of people who do not squat correctly. Now there are variations to squats, but I'm just gonna show you a good stable squat. So you want your feet just a little bit wider than hip width apart, slightly turned out, and you wanna sit back. So sit back as though you are sitting onto a chair. If you are not used to squatting, then you can literally put a chair behind you and sit back onto the chair and get back up. That will really help you to visualize where your weight should be, which is through your heels. So you don't want your knees coming in front of your toes. You wanna to keep the chest nice and high. So you squeeze the glutes and come back up. And rest for a few seconds. We're gonna get onto the floor for the next exercise, which are some mini ups, which you could totally call like crunches, I think. Um, but they're not really crunches, they're like miniature sit ups, um, which we will do as you can see. <laughs> Ready and go. Hands behind the head, keeping the elbows wide apart. I want you to pulse for three and rest for three. Pulse, one, two, three. Rest, one, two, three. Pulse, one, two, three. Rest, one, two, three. Sorry, that was a really arrhythmic counting that I just did. Choose your own rhythm. Basically, we're pulsing up, keeping the neck nice and long, elbows wide apart, feeling that crunch in the abdominal muscles and lowering the upper body back down. You wanna get your shoulders just off the floor and relax well done doing really well guys then we're going to stay on our back stay on your backs and we're going to do some leg lowers i thought about calling these one 10 degree leg lowers but that sounded a little bit silly but they're basically miniature leg lowers ready and go Bending at the knee, cross one leg over the other. You want to lower your legs down from straight up in the air to around about 120 degrees. Just, just a little range of movement. You don't want to bring them all the way down to the ground. We're just teasing out that abdominal control, keeping the lower back flat against the floor. You don't want a little mouse to be able to run under your lower back, so no arching. You can even pop your hands under your bottom and um, to lift up your bottom a little bit and make sure that your back is flat against the floor, if that helps. Lowering the legs, lifting them back up and relax. Well done. Take a breath, stretch if you need to. Give yourself a little reminder that you're a boss, you can do this, you can accomplish so much. Am I giving myself a pep talk right now? Yes, <laughs> yes I am, and I do that very often by the way. Oh sorry, next exercise and go. These are one, two, threes, pretty much what it says on the tin. One, two, three, one, two, three. Me showing you from this side. We are going for high knees, rhythmic, from one leg to the other, shuffling side to side as we side to side as we go, driving the arms front and back, bringing that knee all the way up as you hold every third high knee. Getting a little bit breathless here, a little bit of cardiovascular fitness going on. Doing really well. A few more. One, two, three. One, two, three. Driving the knee through and relax. Yeah, I was sweating, you guys. It was very hot on the day that I filmed this. Um, and also, I'm doing a workout, you know, just because it's a beginner's workout doesn't mean you're not gonna get the heart pumping and get, you know, get a little bit of glisten, bit of glisten for the gram. And back to elbow to knee and go. Twisting from side to side. See how high I'm bringing my knee up. Now, depending again on your flexibility, um, you might have a different range of motion, but do try and get that knee really high up. Twisting, try and look completely over your shoulder. Try and like turn your shoulders so that they are facing side to side. I did not describe that well, but you know what I mean. Get a good twist on it. Bringing the knee up and across the body. 
keeping the chest up. You're doing really well. Full body movement. And relax. Then we're gonna do the walk out push-ups. You ready for this one? We're transferring the weight into the upper body, doing the push-up and walking it back to the legs. Ready and go. You can bend at the knees a little bit, walk your body out. And also, if you're feeling like these miniature push-ups are not enough for you, then just do some full body push-ups. Feel free to like, you know, adjust these workouts. These are kind of the templates. You can tweak them to whatever suits you. Listen to your body. I mean, obviously you're listening to me right now, but but listen to your body. That's a huge part of a, of a health and fitness journey is, is knowing what suits you, knowing what feels good, knowing your level, knowing where you need to push yourself to and where you need to allow your body to rest and recover. Pushing the weight of the body up, walking it back and relax. I'm proud of you for making it this far. Who am I talking to, me or you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, you're doing really well. And we're gonna go back in with the squats. Ready and go. Again, form is everything keeping the abs nice and tight, avoiding getting an arch in your lower back. Look at this from the side. That is what I am showing you from the side. I'm sitting back. My knees are not coming in front of my toes. You can even see my toes coming off the floor a little bit as the weight goes through my heels, as I contract my glutes and my hamstrings and bring my hips back up. I could literally be sitting back into a chair. Keep the chest nice and high intentionally squeeze the glutes, the glutes, intentionally squeeze the muscles. Mind to muscle connection, don't just passively get up, bring that body back up with, by firing those muscles. And relax, well done. Can you feel it? How are you feeling? Let me know in the comments. But like maybe after you finish the video because we are going back into the next exercise, mini ups, getting that burn, getting that core nice and strong, ready and go. Elbows apart, it is tempting to bring them in. You can see I've actually brought them in a little bit there. Um, but try and keep your elbows wide apart, neck nice and long, pulsing for three, rest back for three. Again, if you think that this is too easy and you want that burn, don't rest for three, just keep pulsing for the whole duration of these mini ups. You will feel it in your core. It is so important to have a strong core, um, doing really well. Keep pushing, lifting the shoulders just up off the floor or your mat, whatever you're on. I was literally on the kitchen floor at this point. Um, <laughs> and relax, I'm just shuffling because the kitchen floor was, was not was not my best life. I just wasn't sure if I was in view of the camera. Um, you didn't need to know that, sorry. Um, <laughs> so relax, breathe in, breathe out. We are going in with the leg lowers. Are you ready? And go, lowering the legs down. And as I told you earlier, you can pop your hands under your bottom as I'm showing you here to make sure that your lower back is staying flat against the floor. Feeling the abdominals working as we lower the weight of the legs down, not too far, not all the way to the ground, and bring them back up. Keeping a slight bend in the knees to make it a little bit easier for us. You can keep your legs straight if you're looking for a challenge. You can increase the range of motion if you're looking for a challenge. But this is a solid workout as it is. Doing really well and relax. Are you ready for them? Are you ready for them? The one, two, threes. The final movement of this full body beginner's workout. Ready? You got this. And go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Keeping that foot up, side to side, driving the knee through, driving the arms, opposite arm to opposite leg. Try and keep your arm in a 90 degree angle at the elbow. See so your elbows coming back behind you nice and high as you hold every third high knee. Doing really well there. Keep going, almost there. 
one, two, three. One, two, three. So close. And relax, you did it, you did it. I hope you're sweating as much as I was <laughs> in this video. Um, thank you so much for working out with me, you guys. I appreciate you like you wouldn't believe. Um, let me know in the comments how you found this workout. Are you a beginner, are you more advanced? Um, what? How much do you feel like this suited your level? I would love to know. Um, let me know what other workouts you wanna see on the next Workout Wednesday, and I will see you in my next video, guys. I love you so much. <laughs> Bye.